at Alt Space VR. Uh, I first learned about Groot when he reviewed a 360 video player that I wrote back in 2013 when he was a VR evangelist. Uh, and then I started following his work and uh, did, was very excited to hear when he joined the Alt Space VR team. Please join me in welcoming Bruce Wynn. Switch, switch over. Uh, I'll make sure this is also uh, working for me as well. It's a uh, front of the loop. Come on. All right. Sweet. Uh, so while all that's getting situated, uh, hello everyone. I'm uh, Bruce Wooden, also known as Matt Bruce, uh, VR evangelist, the co founder of Silicon Valley Virtual Reality, which will have our third conference upcoming in April, which is exciting, and uh, head of developer relations at Allspace VR. Um, for those of you that might not be familiar, Allspace VR is a platform for people to hang out together, enjoy each other's company, be social, share, uh, but also share web content in 2D and 3D. Uh, and so what I'll be doing here is not going to involve slides. I'm actually going to uh, legit open Allspace VR, and our engineers are hard at work since I just opened it, and it's already <laughs> another update. Um, but uh, we're going to go through Allspace VR live in the client, and uh, explore some of the, the features that we've been up to for the past year or so, and also uh, the JavaScript SDK, which the developers or hobbyist coders out there should be uh, kind of exciting. So uh, this will be uh, cool to, to show off and, and explore. So here we do. Let's see. All right. So this is a uh, one of the spaces in uh, Altspace VR. Uh, so. Let's just jump right into this. Uh, when you open your menu, uh, you can see a lot of the places that you can go and some of the events that are happening. There's the uh, RTP VR right there. There's a bunch of people in there uh, waiting to meet you guys as you demo. Uh, so that's, that's really cool. Uh, but uh, it's a private web browser as well. So uh, inside the VR environment, you have a floating web browser. It should be very familiar. And um, if I, uh, oh, yeah. watch out. <laughs> <laughs> For District 13. Uh, so <laughs> here we go. Uh, let's let's just bring up a page real quick. See if I can uh, do this here. If it's going to do this, I can read very well. Uh, okay. Um, so I'm typing the URL, uh, and with one click, I'm sending what I'm looking at on this screen to the big screen, where everyone in the room is able to see that content. Um, whatever you go, I'm going to scroll there so you can see some of the, uh, the work we've done with Avatar. I can zoom in in 2D mode. Uh, it's kind of neat. Uh, so we've got a lot of uh, kind of cartoony, abstract stuff, uh, avoiding the Uncanny Valley, making sure they're very performant, and uh, also a sure we'll make an emotional connection with them. Uh, we've got some humanoid stuff in there, which is pretty cool. Uh, so we're very much uh, about bringing more view into VR. So for alt space right now, you can use it in 2D mode. Uh, on a laptop or desktop with no VR headset, on an Oculus Rift DK2, on an HTC Vive, and uh, very recently on the uh, Gear VR. And so, and that's all cross platform, so all those people can be in the space together. But we're also compatible with Elite Motion, the Microsoft Connect V2, and the Perception Mirror on the 32 sensor head to toe mocap system, in which uh, you can see that little avatar lady on the right is uh, using one of those in that particular GIF. And uh, we got their lips a flapping when they're really talking, which is, uh, is kind of cute. But uh, we've done a lot of iteration and design. I have some engineers from DreamWorks that join us um, that are, uh, have been working on really having a great uh, emotional connection from these avatars. So uh, when you're in VR and you're experiencing them, it's not very, uh, very creepy. Um, so speaking of uh, your VR, let me uh, get this get this guy in the same, in the same space. It's loaded up this round to, uh, to teleport. And I think that's, you're seeing me there. There we go. Hey, what's up? Okay. Um, <laughs> let me, let me, let me give, give, give me some love here. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> um, so we have emojis here. Uh, so that happened. Um, uh, but uh, more importantly is that I'm seeing the same thing even on my T-Mobile 4G connection. So I can look at this and I'm like, oh, my first move is this. Over here. 
And uh, I'm going to make your second move. Wow, what if you do this? Uh -huh. Oh, wait, I can't do it. I can't. Oh, I can't get it. No. Fine. Move it. Move it. Okay, fine. I'm just going to move my feet. Um, I need to do that. Ah. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh, so I'm able to move these pieces on the uh, chessboard in Gear VR. Uh, and I'm using a you know, totally different network, right? the 4G from the phone. And uh, that's a synchronized interaction that we're having there, which is, which is really neat. Uh, now it's a creepy puppet show. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Uh, very good. <laughs> and now he's dead. <laughs> So uh, we, we have some examples that we can kind of wrap your mind around. So over the, over the course of an afternoon, uh, this is one of the things I ended up making. Uh, this, this, is, this is fun. All right, here we go. Uh, so it was an open source 3GS project. <laughs> and uh, now I can bathe in the sparkles. And uh, now cat's butt is not frosted, we now know. Uh, and uh, now cat's like, you know, four feet tall. It's amazing to see this in VR. Uh, for those of you familiar with CodePin, you might have seen this guy before. Let me see, let's get it, get it back up. All right, here we go. Um, so there's a CodePin example, a famous one uh, with using 3JS called Show the Line. When you get a fan and it, it cools the line off, which is cool. So I replaced that. The fan is now in your head position, um, and now he reacts to that. Uh, again, this is all through Jess, and now this line is like five or six feet tall, and it's a lot more intimidating than cute, but it's very cool. Um, so these are projects that were over the course of an afternoon, and again, literally what I'm doing is, is building a website. Um, so for example, I have actually a local web server here, Prefrost, and uh, that is a uh, local web server, and I also have Sublime Text here. What I'm going to do is just open an example. Uh, there we go, we got a hello world there. I'm going to go ahead and open the, the HTML file. And there, there, we, there we go, there we have it. I think that's it. And I can, I can see nothing. Uh, let's see here. Is that, is that by the, the slashes? One more, one more left. There we go. Awesome. All right, excellent. Uncommented that out. Uh, just do something simple since it's so hard for me to see there. Uh, but I control S to save. Uh, that automatically refreshes. And now uh, in the render loop, we have a rotation that's added to that. Uh, so this is kind of the workflow. Uh, you are, again, building a website. You can switch back and forth between all space VR. Uh, we had some cool stuff using CodePin inside of VR when you're able to uh, actually you know, type and have things update right in front of your face, which is really cool. But right after we got that settled, code pinned a complete site redesign and broke most of our stuff. Uh, so, at your own risk. Um, but uh, it's, it's very cool nonetheless. Um, so, what, uh, what does this look like if you have maybe a, a week of work, uh, maybe a couple of weeks of work with a single person? And you get something like this. So what we can do is uh, play some air hockey. Again, this is all HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I'm able to click on the pusher and um, so sweet. Um, so this is something where it's like, okay, cool. I'm able to make a really you know functional web app. Who who, who is this? Who are you? What? Okay, <laughs> random strangers popping up in my uh, my presentation here. Um, <laughs> and now uh, we have also uh, if you look at oh this is not the place I want to be. So if you have a small team and maybe you work for a month, uh, you can look at doing something uh, along these lines. Let's go over here. Here we go. All right, yeah. Sorry, I left, left the vein. All right. Sweet. Uh, so to preface this, it's a little bit dark, uh, but what we did is uh, early on with the SDK, uh, we had an internal game jam to kind of figure out what the SDK was going to be like. Uh, and uh, me and a couple of engineers looked at each other were like, tabletop? Tabletop. Yeah. Um, so we made kind of the tabletop role-playing D&D style prototype for, in 48 hours. Uh, it was very, very simple, very, very rudimentary. This was our closed beta days. 
Uh, but put it out there during closed beta, I ran a game, and a dozen people showed up, six people stayed to play, and those six people and I, uh, we played for five hours straight <laughs> in VR. D&D for five hours straight in VR is the nerdiest thing you could possibly do. <laughs> um, <laughs> How many pictures are you taking right now? <laughs>